so today basically what I'm going to be doing is just weathering uh, one of my chest pieces this being my uh, right hand chest piece um, basically it's been painted um, I've done a little bit of weathering on it um, I've just used some um, wet sandpaper wet and dry sandpaper on a block just to do a few high, high spots just to give it a bit of wear um, that mark there um, all the little chips around the outside uh, they're done with um, the toothpaste weathering and I've got all these little scratches and nicks all over the place Oop, don't bump the tripod uh, they were just done with um, run of the mill fairly coarse kitchen scourer just giving it a bit of a hit over so it's weathered but not finished still needs a lot more weathering so basically what I'm gonna do is a brown wash uh, every man and his dog on YouTube's got uh, brown wash or black wash type videos uh, so I'm just gonna do another one add to the collection so um, this is my left hand um, chest piece as you can see I've done a bit of a heavy uh, brown wash on it um, up here it looks like the the dirt's ingrained into the into the uh, paint um, all the little nicks and scratches I've got uh, a bit of paint in them make them look a bit dirtier all the um, all around the edges um, it's got varying darknesses of uh, the wash just makes it look all muddy and bits of crud and whatnot stuck in the in the, uh, in the in the corners you don't want an even uh, wash if it's all even and uniform it doesn't look right you want your wash to make it look as natural as possible so as you can see here it's quite heavy right here and it's a bit lighter here just got little light, uh, lighter spots um, little bits in in the cutouts um, I got got some electronics to go in the to fill that so um, yeah we'll uh, get going what I'm using is just a um, an art, art and craft acrylic paint that I picked up from the local uh, craft shop uh, made by Semco it's a uh, if you can read that, it's a raw umber. You can go burnt umber if you want. Um, I do have burnt umber here, uh, but at the moment I'm just using the uh, raw umber. So we'll uh, start painting. The brush I'm using is just a foam brush I picked up from the same craft store I got from the paint from. I think it cost me a couple of bucks for half a dozen of them. So they're relatively cheap. Just got, just got a little container with the paint in it, and we'll get stuck into it. Make sure you get right inside all the little grooves. Get that paint right in there. Go heavier in some parts, a bit lighter in others. So right up in the corner there's going to be a lot of grime. Uh, bit, bit more paint. Don't forget the edges. Get in there. You don't want it all dirtied up and then discover that all your edges are nice and clean, so make sure you get right in. Um, also on the back, especially in the, uh, the corners, I just normally run a little bit. Because as we, we turn and move, 
your armor is not always going to stay dead flush to your body. Uh, it's just natural that it moves around while you move. Uh, so on certain angles, the back of it will be exposed. And again, you don't want a nice weathered uh, armor piece and then being able to see the back and it's all nice and white and clean. So just make sure you, you do the edge in the back. There we go. There's, the edge is pretty much done. Oh, missed a spot in there. Um, with the flat plate part of it, I tend to spin the brush like so. When you wipe the paint off, you get a lot of paint sticking to the um, the plate, and you don't want nice straight lines. Nature doesn't do straight lines, so again, you're trying to make it look natural, so try not to have nice straight lines anywhere. Uh, mix it up a bit, spin it around, getting, make sure you get inside all those little cracks and grooves. And pretty much that's him done. Um, I'll let that dry for 10 15 minutes, just let the paint soak in. Whoop. And then we'll come back and clean it off and see what the end result is. So we've given it 10 15 minutes, whatever. Uh, time to clean it up. So I just need some water. So basically we're just going to take most of this paint off. Just using an old rag. Uh, just give it a wipe. As you can see most of the paint comes straight off. It's, a, it's an acrylic paint so it comes off fairly easy with water. Just give that uh, rag bit of a rinse. Rinse your rag out every so often because it collects the paint and just makes it harder if you've got a lot of paint on your rag. So I'm not rubbing real hard, just putting a bit of pressure on it. As you can see, the um, oh, as you can see, right in the around the rivets, um, the paint stain, which is what we want, in amongst all the scratches. Um, we've got paint stain, so which is what I'm after. Just give those edges a bit of a quick wipe. I've got some which is again um, some which are fairly light, and right in the corner here, it's uh, quite dark. So it's the effect I'm after. I'll just give all this a wipe down. rinse. So you can see it's a lot muddier and dirtier than what it was. I'll give that back bit of a bit of a wipe. You don't want it too too brown and then just get most of that paint off. You don't want all of it off. Rinse, get a final wipe over. Just try and tidy it up a bit, just try and make it look as natural as possible. Someone asked on the Mandalorian Mercs uh, website uh, forum earlier why do people go uh, fairly heavy on the weathering? Um, 
I chimed in. Uh, basically said that you've got to uh, have a look at your backstory uh, with your character. Uh, my name, my Mando name roughly translates to Old Warrior. Um, he also comes from a fairly swampy type planet. So you're not going to be in pristine conditions. Um, your armor's not going to be all nice and shiny in that. If you live in a swampy type area and I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I'm definitely not the oldest on the forums, but I'm definitely not the youngest. So I've been around for a, a few years. So I want my armor to reflect that. Um, so yeah, it gets fairly dirty and horrible looking. It's all, all about your backstory of your character. So if he's a um, ceremonial type character, does a lot of ceremonial type stuff, yeah. Have your, your armor in pristine condition. Um, that's what's expected of a yeah, ceremonial type armor. But my, my guy's definitely not a ceremonial type guy. So as you can see, um, some parts are light, other parts are quite dark. Um, I've got all the the brown right into the all the grooves where I wanted them, all around the the rivets here. They're all, they've all got um, paint in around them, making them look all, all look like all the dirt's got right into all the spots. So I'm not too uh, whoop, get that in camera. I'm not too upset about that. If you notice I keep going out of frame, I've just got a new camera so I'm still working it out. So that's basically how I do a brown wash. Or in this case a brown wash, it could be a black wash, a white wash, a grey wash, um, depending on what armour or colours you're using. Uh, that's just one of a brown wash I've done for mine. So give it a go. Um, see how you go. No. Have fun. Cheers.